Especially after the first of the year, you know, marketers making all kinds of claims about their exercise gadgets, but not usually a shoe. Yeah, there's a few shoes out there that claim to do this, but uh, Skechers is the latest to join in the shoe fray. We're talking about shapes up, shape ups, and it is a new shoe by Skechers. The company is claiming it can do everything from improving your posture to reducing cellulite just by wearing them. KRCR News Channel 7's Nick Emmons joins us now to see if shape ups really work. Nick. That's right, Jennifer. Well, like any skeptical consumer, I just had to see if these shoes can live up to their hype and their cost. Now, at $120 out the door, I figured they had to do something, so I had a few trainers try them on to see if the shoe really fits. New from Skechers, it's Shape Ups. You've seen the commercials. Now you can get in shape without setting foot in a gym. But can a pair of shoes really do that? I called Jennifer Wiederman, Vice President and GM of Skechers Fitness Division, and she says, you bet. These are a way to incorporate fitness into your daily life and not make radical changes. The idea behind Shape Ups is to make ordinary walking feel like walking on sand. By doing so, Shape Ups claim to tone legs, improve posture, even reduce cellulite. It does help firm your core and your legs and think that people respond to that and they, they just respond to making fitness an accessible and active part of their lifestyle. But when I asked a few local experts to give them a try, they found shape-ups may actually do more harm than good. No, that's yeah, natural. I know. I know. That is not natural. To me, it actually felt kind of awkward that it was putting more stress on my knees and my hips and my back. It's not going to put us in our natural posture where we need to be. Skechers claims the unique cushioning system is designed to help improve posture. Needless to say, these guys aren't sold. They say when it comes to fitness footwear, less is more. That's a big squish, as I like to call it. It's a big squish. Definitely not something we're looking for. Definitely not something we're going to endorse. Believe it or not, they say even our typical running shoes aren't the best option. You have a lot of muscles and ligaments in your foot, and our cushioning shoes nowadays force us not to use those muscles. In essence, the closer to being barefoot, the better. Styles range from the classic to the contemporary. Regardless of taste, these trainers say to watch your step when it comes to fitness products. It's just like anything, people looking for that quick fix, you know, the quick diet pill, the quick shoe that makes you tone up and stuff. Like, it's really all about diet. Reducing cellulite, possible or not likely? Uh, not likely. Despite the skeptics, Skechers says their studies don't lie. But the claims that we have are substantiated. They um, resonate differently with different people, but I think most people just want to be healthier and be more active. Now, obviously, there's two differences of opinions here, so we wanted to look into these shoes a little bit more. Skechers actually offered to send us a free pair to test them out, and that's where you come in. We're looking for a viewer to wear Shape Ups for six weeks. Now, every two weeks, you'll have to fill us in on your progress and be active in the testing process. So if you're interested, send us an email at news at krcrtv.com and tell us why you'd be an ideal candidate. So these are them. These are the shoes, yes. These are the male version of the shoe and kind of bulky. Um, yeah, pretty big. It, does, the, does the rocking, the odd, uh, the odd shape of the sole have anything to do with right, what the Right, that's what they say. The, the company claims that you're supposed to walk from heel to toe and kind of roll yourself forward. And they say it's kind of like walking on sand. And so you're walking on the beach, it is a little bit more difficult. So it really creates resistance on every step. And so obviously resistance leads to strength and therefore and that's that's the general idea behind the shoe i'm very disappointed you said wearing the shoe you actually have to you walk in there you actually have you to get out and walk you can't just, you can't just the put shoe. them on and just uh, hang out and lose weight no uh, unfortunately that's not how it unless works. you don't eat yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly